In this video, I'm going to teach you step-by-step -step how to edit a sales page, landing page, or opt-in page that you might have received inside a PLR package using a free web page editor for Windows or Mac. So keep watching. Hey, it's Aurelius Chin here from Unstoppable PLR, helping you grow your audience and income with private label content. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe so then you'll receive the latest tips training and tutorials around PLR. And at any time, if you find any of this video helpful, click that like button. So you purchased a PLR product and what's included as part of the package is perhaps a sales page or opt-in page. And you wanna be able to edit this with your name and put your order button on the sales page or if it's an opt-in page, you wanna be able to add your opt-in code in the form field so then you can start collecting subscribers. But how do you go about doing it without using a paid tool such as Dreamweaver? Well, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to edit a sales page using a Windows and Mac tool called Blue Griffin. So if you wanna learn step-by-step -step how to go about editing your sales page using Blue Griffin, be sure to watch this entire video. Now, let me switch over to my screen now so then I can show you what Blue Griffin is and where you can go to download it for free. So I'll link up all the resources and the links below this video, so rest assured. Bluegriffin.org is where you wanna go. Where you need to go is just go download from the top. Depending on what operating system you are using, that's what you need to download. So if you're using Windows 7, 8, 10, download this. Uh, this is for 32 bits or 64 bits uh, uh, system. So if you're using OS X, then be sure to download that accordingly. So that's the first step. Be sure to install it first. And once you've installed it, open up Blue Griffin. So I've got Blue Griffin open here. This is the default workspace view. You don't need to play around with any of the settings just yet. Before I move ahead, I want to note that I am basing this tutorial around a Mac system since I'm using a Mac, but rest assured, I think the Windows system also is laid out the exact same way, perhaps with some slight uh, differences, but for the majority of the part, this tutorial should still be relevant if you are using a Windows system. Now, what I'm going to do is open up one of the PLR packages that I've got myself, this is one of my own called Instagram Marketing Secrets. I wanna open up the sales page. So that's the sales page module inside the private label rights folder. Once I'm in there, I wanna look for the index.html file. And if you wanna follow along, then be sure to follow along as well. Uh, you can pause this video if you, I am going a bit too fast, but Otherwise, you can always refer back to this video again once you do want to start editing your sales page or web page. The easiest way that I found to open a web page is to simply right click open with and choosing the app. So in this case, it's Blue Griffin. Alternatively, you can also open it via the actual app in Blue Griffin by going to file and open. But this is what I found to be easier by just simply right clicking, open with Blue Griffin. And as you can see, I've now got this sales page open. The next step is to, I wanna be able to view the web page in both design view and also code or source code view. If you look down below, you can select between WYSIWYG, which is the design, view and that stands for what you see is what you get and this is what it will actually look like on a web page or browser if i go to source that will purely give me the code of the web page and that's not exactly what you want and it just makes things complicated now this is a print view we don't really need that but what we do need to switch is to use the dual view so then we've got both the design or WYSIWYG view and also the source code view since we will be adding a order button code to this sales page and do a couple of other edits to the copy and the text. So the first thing I wanna do is add my name and that is the from field that I see there. So I'm gonna simply go Relis Chin or put in your name there. And let's say you're, you wanna bold some text 
it has over 1 billion active views. And let's say I want to bold that. I can simply hit the uh, Command and B button on the keyboard. That's for the Mac. And on the Windows, it's Control B for bold. And uh, otherwise, you can use the, the Control Pan here. So bold or italics, you know, things like that. And you can switch over between uh, centered text, left, right, justified and things like that. So I'm gonna just revert back. And uh, there's not much else I need to edit in terms of copy unless I really do wanna change the text. But the whole point of PLI is to help you save time and this is, uh, with uh, my PLR packages at unstoppableplr.com. Everything is ready written for you. So all you really need to do is replace this order button with your order button from your shopping cart system or product management system. Uh, before I move on and add that order button code, I wanna just complete this, add my name right there to your success, really chin. And what I'm gonna do next is just add the form code or the order form code right there. So the next step really is to log into your shopping cart system, ensuring that you have that product already set up and then you can get the buy button code. So let's go and do it. I'm gonna show you an example via a JVZoo. All right, so I've got JVZoo open and where you wanna go specifically in JVZoo is to go sellers and sellers dashboard. And this will give you a list of all the products and if you don't have any products set up yet, then be sure to click that add a product button. I've, I've got another video on how to set up a product in JVZoo and create a sales funnel in JVZoo. I'll link that up in the card just above this video. And all you need to do once you have created a product, you'll see I've got one example here, 100 premium header graphics. And I can simply go actions and then click on the buy buttons option. I'm just gonna open that in a new tab for this example. Once I'm there, I can say, I can see the choose your button header there. And the first option is a no thanks or download, uh, sorry, downsell link. That's not what I want. I wanna just skip down below to the actual buy button for that product. In JVZ, you can choose from a range of different styles and designs of the Buy Now button. So let's scroll down and see the designs we've got here. You can see there's smaller buttons as well. I usually like to stick with uh, this type here. And that's what I mainly use on all my sales pages. Once you've selected and chosen which button you like, then all you needed to do is look below and you'll see the code. So you want the HTML code. When you click there, you wanna make sure you highlight everything. And then I'm gonna just copy that. Or you can do a Control C or Command C on the Mac. And then let's go back to Blue Griffin. Now, if I click this once, this is the placeholder that's on the sales page at the moment. And depending on what PLR package you have and who you bought from, it may differ, and that's just a side note. But with my PLR packages in uh, specifically, uh, you'll see a placeholder of a button. This is actually, this doesn't actually work. But in this example, I'm just gonna purely use the JVZoo button that's provided. So clicking that once, you'll then see that Blue Griffin has highlighted the actual code of where that is located. Literally, I click this once and then it's selected which code and line it was from the code view. And then what I'm gonna do next is just highlight that, ensuring that I also select the closing tag of the div. So you can see here, it starts with a div and then HTML, you also need to close the tag so then it knows where it ends. So in this case, I'm gonna choose all that, the two lines, just click the delete or backspace button. And now you can see on the left, panel here, window, that it's disappeared. Now, the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is just click paste here by going, going on the Mac, Command V, or on your Windows system, it's Control V. And as you can see, just like that, it's already updated in real time with that order button 
as shown in JVZoo. Now, all I need to do next is save it and upload it via FTP or using your site manager if you're using cPanel. So there you have it. That's Blue Griffin in a nutshell and how to use it to basically edit your PLR sales page. I know a lot of other apps are out there, but in my opinion, Blue Griffin is so easy to use. One tool that I did mention in the past was one called Composer, and that's no longer working and no longer available. So I don't recommend you use that anymore since it's no longer supported and being updated. So this is the alternate at the time of recording. So there you go, that's Blue Griffin and editing a PLR sales page in a nutshell. If you found this video helpful, click that like button so I can create more videos just like this. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe so then you receive the latest tips, training and tutorials around PLR.